All right, we're taking a look at the rest of the hurricane season, at least let's say through October over the next couple of months. The feed, as I call it, powered by the AccuWeather Pro site where you too can be a pro. All right, let's take a look at the satellite picture here this morning. And in the Atlantic, you've got double trouble with Imelda and Umberto, but the rest of the Atlantic is relatively quiet. In fact, Boy, oh boy, you've got this upper low here, so all of this tropical moisture is pulled northward. I was just talking to um, Alex De Silva a short time ago, and uh, he made this point, and I think he's right. If you would just look at this area, the Caribbean and the Gulf, you would swear you're in the middle of January. I mean, this is as clean as it would get this time of the year. Still lots of the hurricane season left to go here, so we are right in here, right at this line, and yes, I see that the storms historically go go down the potential for storms and hurricanes but it's still as we saw last year can be very very busy during the month of uh september or i should say on october okay i want to show you this so what's going on in the atlantic right now why is it so quiet and you know we always talk about three ingredients warm water we have that plenty of moisture we have that but one thing that we have too much of is wind shear right i want to show you this graphic this is our wind shear product uh right now and you'll notice that here we are today let me give you your bearings so everybody sees it uh this right here this is florida so east coast of the United States, this is the west coast of Africa. And what you're looking at is where you see the darker colors, the red, yellows, and orange, that's wind shear. I mean, you have a lot of, here, here's the Caribbean right in here. This is the one part where you don't have a lot of wind shear, but you have wind shear all over the Atlantic. So any tropical wave that, that can try to get into the Caribbean to develop has to bust through this wind shear, and it's just not happening. I mean, this is what it looks like today. Let's go a week from now. Let's see what it looks like a week from now. I tend to trust this product quite a bit here. So this is a week from now. What do you see? Again, this west coast of Africa. Here's Florida right in here. Look at all of this wind shear denoted by the yellow and the green. Nothing's going to be able to survive the Atlantic or that wind shear coming across the Atlantic. Any wave that comes off Africa, there's no pathway for any wave coming off Africa to get to the United States. In fact, let's go to let's go to the 14th. So this is mid-October. Well, how does it change? It gets worse. In fact, this shuts down the entire Atlantic west of the uh, east of the islands. Here are the islands. Here's Hispaniola. Here's Cuba. The entire Atlantic closed for business right now. Now, that's the tropical Atlantic. Not so much as we head closer to home. So I want to give you an idea here of what we're looking at moving forward here. So let me let me show you this. Um, this is what we're thinking here. Large large pockets of wind shear are going to prevent development throughout much of the Atlantic Basin. What does that mean? I don't think there's going to be a long track storm headed toward the United States. Now, there may be a long track storm that can curl east of the United States, but it's not coming to the east coast of the United States. The question is, can anything sneak into the Caribbean? I don't think so. However, we have to worry about homegrown development. And what do I mean by that? Uh, where you get an interaction between the jet stream and the tropics to form development. So what I want to show you next is, okay, with that in mind, is there anything down the road that we have to worry about? Well, what I want to show you is, very interesting here. Let me go full on this. Let me go full on this so you can see it. So this is the uh, European model. And here we are. I don't see anything anything. You don't see any yellows, oranges, or red. Anything in the Atlantic Basin here. This is uh, next Monday. But let, let's go out into the mid-October time frame, and you start seeing some interesting things. Um, you, you start seeing energy showing up here. You see the yellows, oranges, and red. This is the American model off the southwest coast, off the southeast coast of the United States, and, the, and into the Caribbean. Even the European model, by the time we get into the middle part of the month, look at this. You start seeing this. Uh, energy into the Caribbean. And that's our parting shot here on the feed this morning. As we go forward, this is going to be the area of the watch. We keep harping on this and we're concerned. Homegrown development in the Caribbean Gulf. And I'll tell you what, I'd even add the Southwest Atlantic. Let's keep an eye on that. And that's our message in the feed today.